Sunday when the CEO of DirecTV goes undercover. Undercover Boss is the only reality show about management, about business, and as such, it's a perfect show for people who are interested in the workplace, in other words, BNet users. I'm Stanley Bing, and I'm a writer, but I'm also a bit of an undercover boss myself because during the day, I am an executive at CBS. And today we're talking to Mike White. Hi, Mike. Stanley, how are you? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm doing great. You uh, survived your undercover status, huh? <laughs> I did. You're back in a suit and tie? I'm back in a suit and tie, and I, uh, I got to shave, yes. <laughs> yeah, it's good, it's good to shave again, isn't it? Uh, my wife was uh, happy to have me shave again, yes. She yeah, said that's I couldn't a, keep it. <laughs> that's, that's one reason why you got to come back from being undercover is, uh, you know. That's right. Uh, so tell me, um, what was it like to, uh, to submerge yourself in a, in a pretty new corporate culture for you, right? Yes, yeah. I, you know, I'm a new CEO at DirecTV in a new industry. Uh, I spent 20 years at PepsiCo and came over to DirecTV in January. So when we were approached with the idea, for me, it was a, a, a valuable way to learn more about our business and to connect with our front line. And it was an amazing experience. I, I must say, I don't think I've worked that hard since I was 21 as a greenskeeper on a golf course uh, over the time that we were together. And, uh, but it was, a, it was a terrific experience all the way around. Well, you know, as, as Mel Brooks said, it's, it's good to be the king. And uh, <laughs> yes. you know, people work awfully hard to get up to the position of CEO. What, what, um, what was it like to, to just talk to people without the suit and without the tie? And it's kind of different, isn't it, when people don't, don't treat you with a certain level of, of respect because of your title and everything that represents? Well, my, I come from a large family of eight kids, and they try and keep reminding me of that all the time anyway, including my wife. That's true. You go uh, home, and you're not CEO anymore, really. Yeah, yeah exactly. And, you know, I, I mean, for me, I always was in stores or on routes uh, when I was at PepsiCo, so that, that part wasn't so new. But I think what it is a reminder, as you said, you know, our frontline workforce works very, very hard. Mm -hmm. And I came out of that experience kind of with a new and better understanding of how hard those jobs are, particularly in this economy. I mean, those folks, whether they're our call center agents or our technicians that drive the trucks that you see on the roads and climb in ladders, they work, they work really hard. And, uh, and it's, it's a tough life to make ends meet. There are a lot of little pieces to the business also, right, to your business that have to go right in order for the customer to be happy. And oh, you got that. It's so right, Stanley. I mean, I think it's one of the lessons I learned out of the experience was that we have some of the most sophisticated and complex technology in the world at DirecTV. But it doesn't work if you don't have a call agent who picks up the phone when someone calls the call center or when that person shows up at the house to install the service or fix it if they can't solve the problem there. And at the end of the day, you know, as great as our technology is, our satellites in the sky, our broadcast centers, uh, even our set-top box and the sophistication of the middleware, none of it's worth a damn without the support of our really almost 40,000 people in the United States alone that make the DirecTV service work for customers. Yeah, uh, they're the people that the customer sees, right? Did you they, think? I, I, I've said this before. More than I am, they're the voice and the ears of DirecTV with our customers. Now, did you think that you were a good employee? <laughs> I worked hard at trying to be a good employee, but I must say, you know, when we put someone in either job, a call center or on the, the tech side, they typically have four to six weeks of training. And, uh, you know, I had about an hour of training, so... And, and being new to the business, uh, there was still a lot I was learning as I was in the field. So I, I made my share of mistakes, shall we say. Now, it, it takes some, some guts to do the undercover boss thing that, you know, you have to appear on television. Had you ever been on TV before? No, I think guts are insanity. I'm not sure which, <laughs> but no, no I, I, you know, not, uh, not in a show kind of uh, situation. And, you know, I just kept saying to myself, just be yourself, because I'm not an actor. 
I'm not even a good liar, <laughs> according to my mother. So I, I just was trying to, to kind of focus on the job and, uh, and let the producers worry about how to make it great entertainment. In what way were you disguised? I mean, it, it's, it helps that you were new, right? But other people might have yeah. recognized you. Did, yeah. What did you do to yourself? Well, be, being new did help, particularly, you know, we were in, in Birmingham, Alabama, we were in Denver, Colorado, we were in Las Vegas, and we were in Los Angeles. And uh, I did grow a, a bit of facial hair, and I, uh, I also kind of took my hair and had it dyed and, and spiked, uh, <laughs> and Sounded I had a pair of glasses, cool. so I looked a little different. <laughs> Yeah, that's fun. That's fun. Did you have a good time doing it? I had a fantastic time doing it, but it, it, it was, I think you're right. It was a humbling experience. I think you, you realize how blessed you are to have the education you have. And as I said, I came back glad I did it, but I'm also glad I have the job that I have. Those are, those are hard jobs that the front line has. Well, we'll both be watching undercover boss this Sunday at 9 PM on CBS. Talk to you soon. Thanks Stanley. Well, that's it for right now. Undercover Boss is on Sunday night, CBS, 9 p.m. Be there. Don't be late. And do come back to BNET on Monday for the conclusion of this interview.